Your store policy don't apply to me, okay? This is what people don't understand. What your store has as it apply, a policy of panhandlers don't apply to me, okay? That's one thing that it does not apply to me. I don't care about your store's policy about people asking for spare change or for food or panhandling. That's not my concern. And if I want to ask somebody if they want something to eat, then that's what I'm going to do. Picture me folded, what? never that boy. Can't leave the kill without the drugs and the cap boy. No. If I wouldn't select, baby, yeah, that's on my back, boy. Get ear to the max, boy. Finny, that's a fact, boy. I'm from a place where it's dark outside. The late nights, you can't walk outside. Bullets got the names on them. Hit you when your homeboys ride. As your mom shed a tears and she wondering why. Uptown double H, man, it's be the five. MP in the cut, yeah, we get it live. Ay. Moses can't go to any hood, but it's connect shump could, baby shump hella good, baby. Okay, a Fab NPY used to be uh -huh. Pay Street, we was right next to JB. Yeah. Hot box, not the Pontiac, I couldn't see. And it's like that we live, man, it's full of sin. So we cope with the pain bottle with a gin. Hey, New York brim, fresh corn, red Tim. Dice games on the corner, can't play if your pocket's slim. Hey, can't play, boy, never him. And don't play the game if you ain't trying to win. I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to catch my L's to 100 wins. Hey, big dubs, you feel me? Yeah. I'm just trying to tell my L's to 100 wins. 100 wins. Only time I'm gonna tell what it really what did. It did. I'm just trying to tell my L's to 100, 100 wins. wins. Your girl A, Tinky and Potato Princess. Okay, Princess Potato, Potato Princess, whatever you want to call her. Bless you, girlfriend. Bless you. So it's a half a day, like I told you guys. And on Wednesdays, I get everybody early. Well, the boys automatically get out of school at 12:40. So once I drop off my grandson JJ to his house, I drive right by the daycare and pick her up to. Oh, she's got something to say. Okay, so it is 1.48, and um, yeah, we are on our way home, got some lunch. I went to Kroger's Fries, it's called Fries here, and they have like their hot section, their hot food section. I guess that's what you want to call it, where, you know, you can get hot meals. Well, they have these deals. Um, for $5, you can get either two pieces of fried chicken along with two different sides and a dinner roll. Um or you can get two pieces of baked chicken, same scenario, or two pieces of their baked strips, same scenario. It's an early release, even though they do give them lunch at school. Um, my son, you know, he's at home with his three, with his two kids. Well, once I drop JJ off, it's three. But, um, so I bought some for them over there for their lunch. And then I bought Tinky one, me one. I'm gonna go home and eat because I'm starving. Starving, starving, starving. Yeah, I'm, I'm in the house for the day. It is now 1.54, I'm in the house for the day. When I go in the house, I wanna stay in the damn house, okay? I don't wanna come back out for nothing. So that's why, that's another reason why I go Wednesday and get her early. I don't need no breaks from her, she's a good little baby. I wanna say hi to everyone. Show off your outfit. Say hi. Yeah. Who's that? Is that potato princess? <laughs> you see you in the camera? Do you know who that cutie patootie is? Who's that cutie patootie? Ooh. Hi. Say hi, everyone. Is everyone hi? Can you hi? <laughs> Ooh. Who's that? That's cutie patootie with the stinking booty. Well, her booty's not stink, okay? Tell her my booty is not stink. Tell her my booty's not stink. I just got changed. Yeah. You see everyone? You see everyone? Hmm? Say hello, you two. Say hello, everyone. Yeah. This is my sweetheart right here. Who's that sweet girl? 
See, I got on a bow to match my shorts. Yes, I was doing it today. Outfit of the day. Huh, who's got on an outfit of the day? You do? You was about to raise your hand. Yeah, say hi. All <laughs> right, you guys, about to go eat. Well, I'm about to eat. She just had a bottle. Did you just have a bottle? language are we speaking? Huh? I never been with a fatty. She looks just like a mixed patty. She cut diaper like a baddie. Cause I ain't never been with a fatty. <laughs> yeah, that's our theme song. Yeah. I know it. Auntie Mumsy gonna be home soon. Mm -hmm. ah. Say I was, I was, I was, I was, I was, I was. What you doing? Where are my labels? Did you eat all your food? Um, I will save some more for later. Okay. You like Legos? You've been playing with them every single day. I noticed for the past well, couple of this, weeks. This is the trunk. Well, your car looked like it fell apart just now, <laughs> so you might wanna you, you might wanna work on that, honey. Yeah, you might really want to work on that. I, I, made, I made this car yesterday, but it's a little bit different. Mm. This car doesn't have no engine. I'm, oh, no? Well, then how's it running? Mm. I don't know. Because I cried out. Because it has no engine. If a car don't have no engine, then how's it working? Uh, there's, like, some power in, like, the seat. Mm -hmm. in, in, in the seat, there's, like, the engine and stuff. Oh, the seat? In the, oh, wow. That's neat. This is a cool car. It sounds like it. And I'm about to put the driver's lessons on. Okay. Okay. You know how they say your parents used to say your eyes are bigger than your stomach because you didn't put all that food on your plate? But I had no business eating this. Um, wedges and chicken strips. They were two big chicken strips. They was good. And the bread roll. Mm. If I could do a mukbang for y'all, I would. But I ain't got nothing left but two wedges. So, and I'm not really into doing mukbangs, talking with my mouth full. I don't really know what people think about that. Like, I don't want y'all to see the food in my mouth. It's bad enough if I come through and I got a booger in my nose. You know what I'm saying? So, I know y'all like, bitch, that's TMI, but I'm just sharing with y'all what I, what, what I really feel is so. But I'm going to relax right now. Somebody over there talking to me. Hey, girl. You thought I was talking to you? You thought I was talking to you, huh? I was. What's over here? The bathroom's over there. No, not just the bathroom. What is this? That's a raffle. So you could win some prizes right there. Where's your class at? It's over there, the first door. No. Oh. What is this over here that they're doing? See all the kids gathering, the, the green stuff. What's that all about? What is that? Is that what it is? You're right. They're making leaves choose a stencil yeah they're making leaves that's what they're doing no they're not making face paint they're making stencil they're, they're making those things that you see with the paper see oh is it maybe it is let's see you want to check it out over here what is it or ask for a rainbow 
Oh, it's a stencil for your face painting, I guess. I think. I don't know how to do it. Hey, what do you want, friends? You want one? Something on there? We have the tiger stretches there. We have some tiger strikes out there that we can wait for, or we can do a rainbow. You can pick one. You want to do tiger strikes? You want tiger strikes? Or do you want a stencil? You want the turtle one? Or is this a giraffe? I don't know. You want a stencil? I thought it was a, um, what do you call that thing? Um, Grenade? Oh, yeah, it's like that too. So, what do you do? You just. So, we're going to take him to a table. Okay. Let's go to that car table with the girls with the flower necklaces on. Uh huh. And they will help you with your face paint. Okay, okay. Well, he got a skeleton, he got a bat, and he got a, a cat. In case you want to change your mind. You want that instead? The bat. Okay. What color would you like? We have green and black, and red. Not red. Not red. All right. Now stay still, okay? okay. Say. Oh. Yes, I'll take a picture. Go over there in the darkness. Okay, right here, right here. Stand up against right there, and I'll take a picture of you. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? You want to go over there and see what that's going on over there? You can set on here. Let's say if you wanted this one and do a shadow drawing. So watch. So you go like this. And hold it for you. Hold it for you. And then you trace the shadow. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I know, they made a big change. It looks good, it looks good. That's a big TV, wow. Do you guys come in here and watch it? No? Nice, I like it. It looks really nice in here. What, they be on the computers in there? Yeah, I play Minecraft. Do you go in there? No. You come in here? Yeah, but we're not allowed to go. We have to be a teenager to go in there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. But the library looks nice, though. I like it. Fifth grade. Fifth grade. This is nice. The library looks really nice. And you just come and sit and read a book. Nice. <laughs> no. I like it. Hi, how are you? Hi, Kevin. It looks really nice in here. This looks really nice from when my kids were here. This looks really, so really nice. you remember when it, what it looked like before? Mm -hmm. a lot of Both my kids came here. A lot of people were here before, or weren't here before, so they didn't realize. Oh, so it's, it's really yeah, it looks yeah. really, really nice. It really does. It looked nice then, but it looks really, really nice now. Yeah, it really like does. It. it does look really nice. Okay. Will they come in and watch movies and stuff? Um, the, well, because it can be, actually, it's like a big uh, computer. So oh. The teachers can access those things. So they, we have these Promethean boards in the classrooms now, and so you don't have to hook up to it. It's like Wi-Fi. Oh. They can do, like, literally type in. And it's like oh, yeah. typing into your, your laptop. Oh. But, yes, you can. So we can access movies That's and stuff cool. like that. YouTube, different things. So I would like to wow. show, like, um, books. You can They do books, like, you read books on YouTube or whatever. So I'd love to put some up in here when they're doing library time. And wow. Stuff. Library has come a long way since I was a kid. I know, right? Wow. Wow. You want to go get some icy? Yeah. All right, you got it. Oh, they got a little book return slot. That is so cool. And he got this one. Take a picture next to him. What does it say? You know what it says?
You want to take a picture next to him? Yeah, that's Theodore. Wait to let her take a picture first, and then you could go. Go ahead. You want to go take a picture next to it? You want to take a picture next to it? Yes, good morning. Okay, and yes, I have on the same t-shirt from yesterday. I sure do. I sure do. You know, I sure do. But you know what? The good thing about that is I did wash my butt. I sure did. You know, I wore the shirt outside and then I came home and took it off because I'd be too hot. I be trying to get, look, let me get the best parking spot ever. I be trying to get the best parking spot because you know how people be stealing your gas, stealing your your catalytic, catalytic converter. They, they'll steal your car, okay? Try to steal the money out of my PayPal account. I don't know what it is, but I I don't know. I be having like the worst of luck. Um, but you know what? It just be the devil trying to get at me, but it's all good. It's all good. So I'm here at Walmart. I got to return this fan that I bought. Um, it's just like, it was like a cute little clip on fan. And it had an LED light with it, probably like about yay big, please. It had three settings. You can use a USB um, box to, you know, run it in a charge. That thing does not blow anything, okay? It don't blow anything. So it was $21. I'm going to take it back, and I'm going to just get a regular little fan. On the go, rechargeable USB clip fan with LED light. It's really cute, you know? It has a nice, strong, sturdy clip. 360 spin rotation also has this little clip thing in the back where you can hang it at and all of that but it doesn't blow for anything um i don't know where receipt is at but they know this is theirs at walmart i'm gonna just return it and get an even exchange this for his teacher um because school is about to end teacher mode off this is so cute and it's a slim beverage holder so she can put her beverages in here her wine or whatever but this is so cute i do want to see if they have a dish um a dish rack not a dish rack but a, um a dish tray you know the, the tray that goes under your rack because the last time i was here they was out it was something else i was supposed to get and i just thought about it and now i forgot just that quick um, I hate when I do that. Oh my God. I found the fan. Just this little fan. This is a good fan. $16. So I'm going to get this. It's cheaper than the other one and works way better. I wanted to look at the comforters and see if they had any nice ones here. But sometimes we might be having some really nice comforters. So we, let's take a look and see what we can find. Where the hell are the comforters? Ones here kind of look like old lady like. Okay. Well, oh, what's this? This one is cute. 
reversible comforter. Oh. This one looks kind of cute. But what does it come with? It just comes with a comforter. This is that cute. Not for thirty dollars. I don't know, but I would wear these. I, for some reason, really like these. I would definitely wear them, but they don't have my size. Wow. Oh. And they're by Steve Madden in New York. I definitely would buy these. Check out some Walmart fashions. You know they've been getting up on their fashion, so let's check out and see what they got. Every time I see a clearance rack, I head to it. Okay, I don't know what what section I'm in, like what size section, but it say clearance. I don't even think I want to look through this clearance because it's like so unorganized. But let's just see what they have for uh, clothing in here that you guys might like. I'm not buying anything because I don't need any more clothes. I don't even go anywhere. Um...
wash, you know, I, since I pay for it every month, unlimited, you can get up to three car washes a day. I don't really know who's coming out that many times a day to wash their car, but three times a day, girl, you can get your car washed three times a day. 10.38, um, I'm about to clean the inside of my car out though real quick. Um, yeah, I'm gonna clean the inside of my car out real quick at one of the bays, like vacuum it. And do we even need to? Cause I, I don't really feel like doing that right now. It is actually clean in the inside. It's just the outside was kind of dusty. Thank you. Have a good one. Be safe. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna go get my um get my iced coffee. I wanted to go to Sam's Club and it's right here. It's right right here, but I'm gonna take my ass and go home. Download is starting. Some phones require additional confirmation. Please check your phone and confirm the download if necessary. You know what? I'm going to say this to y'all. The world is a wicked place. And you know what? When your heart is not in the right place, that means that you're just miserable from the inside to the out. So here it is. I pulled up at Circle K. You know, it's a gas station and it's a little store because I wanted to get something, okay? Um, when I pulled up, it was this young man. He, and you could tell he was on drugs. He wasn't asking nobody for nothing. He wasn't. He didn't have no sign up. He wasn't panhandling like the man in the store said. He wasn't doing none of that. But he was a young kid and he was. he looked like he was hungry and he was dirty and he needed some type of help. You know what I'm saying? And I don't go around and tell nobody that I help anybody because that's not what you do. Like, I don't give a damn if I help people. I give people a dollar all day long. It's not something that you brag about. But I'm so sick and tired of people out in this world. So I, when I seen the young man, I approached him because I was on my way into the store. And he was standing by the store on his bike, okay? And you could tell that he was, you know, that he needed help. Let me tell y'all. I walked up to the young man. I was like, hey, you hungry? And he was like, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I was like, is there anything specific you want from the store? And he was like, anything you could get me so you know what i'm saying inside the store in circle k they have like these burgers they're two for five you can get a burger you can get a sausage egg and cheese you know what i'm saying so i got them two of those and i got them a couple of donuts now they come cold but there's a microwave in there too now I, when i pay for my stuff i asked the young man at the register you know what i'm saying um i asked him is it is there a microwave in here so the young man could come and heat his food up and he was like um what young guy the guy side with the ripped shirt on i was like I don't know if his shirt is ripped for why. And so his coworker, she comes around the corner. She was like, well, there's there's an old guy out there and he's got a ripped shirt on and he's been begging and panhandling. I said, first of all, he ain't been begging and he ain't been panhandling. This young man ain't got no ripped shirt on because I remember he had on a hoodie. I said, he ain't asked nobody for nothing, okay? I approached him and asked him, did he want something to eat? Why are you asking me about the other man? And she was like, because all he does is sit here. I said, well, listen, I'm asking you, is it all right for him to come in and warm up the food that I just purchased? And so the guy who was ringing me up, this fool, he was like, well, our store policy is no panhandling. I said, first of all, I don't care about your store policy, okay, because I just told you that he didn't panhandle and he didn't ask me for anything. I said, however, it's sad in this world that you as a human being would not even dare try to look out for another human being if they were hungry. How about if you was homeless and you needed some type of help? Wouldn't you like it? Ma'am, I'm not going to argue with you, but you could just get out the store. I said, first of all, I'm not getting out the store until I'm finished. He said, well, when you're done with your stuff purchase, I'm going to need you to leave. I I said, what? I said, what makes you think that I would want to stay in the fucking store and hang out with your ass? And so he was like, ma'am, just leave. I said, I'm going to leave when I'm good, damn, and ready to after I heat this food up. So he was like, because I at that point, I was like, you know what? I'm going to go in there and heat it up myself for him because it seems like y'all going to give this young man a problem. So he was like, I said, where's the microwave at? Because I knew where it was. I knew it was over there in that area somewhere where the cold food was at. He was like, ma'am, just leave. Just leave, man. I'm calling the cops. I said, go ahead and call the goddamn cops. I said, you think I give a damn about a police officer? I said, let me tell you something. I just paid for my purchase and I ain't do shit in here, but ask you, can he use the microwave? And you started getting in your damn feelings. Now you think that I'm going to leave because you told me to leave and because you said you're going to call the damn cops? I said, I don't care about the police call them okay he just pissed me way off just now i'm not about to let him steal my vibe but you know what that was the devil right there because first of all you don't treat people like that second of all you ain't about to talk to me any old type of way because i'm not going for it on no given fucking day i don't give a damn who you are and as far as the police are concerned a bitch i don't give a fuck about them neither what you gonna call the police and tell them that i asked you a question and i'm heating up the food that i purchased i didn't threaten you i didn't do anything but here we go at the end of the conversation when i when i was done and i was like now i'm gonna leave don't come back and hear me ask that man i'll be in here tomorrow how about that
Okay, how about that? Sorry, guys. The... <sighs> Woo saw on that, but you know what? It's just sad and it's pathetic that people don't want to help one another. And like, you got me. You think you're gonna talk to me any old kind of way and threaten me with the goddamn police? Like, I give two rats ass about some police. What you gonna tell them? Oh, what you what you really gonna tell them? Black lady arguing in here with my white. Like, come on, man. And then on top of that, with the stuff that I'm asking you for behind the counter, you ain't even getting that shit proper. Man, do you need the job? Do you want the job? Okay? Because I'm pretty sure this young man outside could use the job. You see what I'm saying? People people be having you messed up. Please don't have me effed up, okay? Because I might look nice in the face. You know what I'm saying? You might think that I'm older than you or out of respect. But let me tell you something. I will tell you a new asshole if you with me the wrong way. I promise you. You feel like you can make me mad or you can upset me by telling me, like to get out the store like why would i want to stay at the store after i finish my purchase like what sense does that make when you're done when when, when you're done just leave like that's why i was like yeah exactly because why would i want to hang out with you he got mad because i asked him a question and because i didn't want to comply with their store policy your store policy don't apply to me okay this is what people don't understand what your store has as it apply a policy a pen handlers don't apply to me okay that's one thing that it does not apply to me i don't care about your store's policy about people asking for spare change or for food or panhandling that's not my concern i don't work for circle k i don't give two f's about circle k and if i want to ask somebody if they want something to eat then that's what i'm going to do see all the young man at the register needed to do was answer my question you answered my question with a question and so now i'm going to answer you with a question but you know me being me, I knew that they was going to have an issue with the young man coming in and heating up his food because of the way they was treating me. You know what I'm saying? So I went and did it. But when I went and did it, he had the audacity to say, I'm calling the police on you, ma'am. I'm calling the police. I guess I was supposed to run out the store at that point and get scared. I'm not leaving until I'm finished doing what I got to do. You took my money. Now I'm going to take your electricity power and heat these goddamn burgers up. That's what the hell I'm going to do. It's just the audacity of people for me. Like, I don't care about Circle K, and I'll be up back up in that store tomorrow. I bet you I will. I bet you I will whenever I feel like it. I will. I, let me tell you something. I never come in nobody's establishment on no disrespectful shit. I don't even try to be disrespectful to anybody. But what you're not going to do is be disrespectful to me and expect me to, you know, be all for the bullshit with you. Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why when I come in here, I'm nice. And, and that's how you should be. I don't got to be walking around with an attitude because for what? That's just too much energy. I don't have time for that. You know what I'm saying? I really don't have time for walking around with an attitude and giving people attitude for what? Like, come on. There's more in life than walking around and getting upset all the time. But if you feel like you can walk all over me and disrespect me because I walk around and say hello to people, then you got me effed up. Because I'm, I, you will see the real me and you'll be like, oh, shit. That's not the lady that came in. Right. How did one? She probably would like that too. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> what? Huh? No. You too. Oh. <laughs> she not so though. <laughs> So they can hurry up and just zoom out, you know? Just get out the door, but they just need to call their face up to the working class. But they would, though. I would eat it. You would, right? They would, I'm like, okay. But if that's not what I... Back with but if that's not what I asked for, right, and y'all brought me the wrong thing, and then y'all realize y'all brought me the wrong thing, y'all might as well leave that wrong thing there and go make my right thing. They're going to take the wrong thing. Like, yeah, it's COVID. They you they might as well just leave it. They they gave to us right. Well, the other time, they took it back. I'm like... <laughs> I think they should add it onto the menu. They should add it onto the menu. You're right. Well, look at before you ask. Tati just said what to say. I made a picture. Tati said what to say. Even then, they still bring up the wrong thing. And then we tell them again. Like those, those, again. those ones are good, though, too. Um, I am not. What was it? What is it? It's an old song. Um, you're a vegetable. You're a vegetable. He does say that. I'm a vegetable. What is the song? Uh, beat it, you're beat, no. beat it. Beat it, you're a vegetable. No. What song is it? Um, dirt, not Dirty Diana, Billie Jean, no. Oh, uh, it is Beat It, right? Is it PYT? No, because no, I, I listen to that all the time. I don't remember saying vegetable every day. I think we're going to have to put her in the stroller. Not just, it's definitely it's 59 years old. It's the first. I don't even know, though, What's his name? 
<laughs> I think we're gonna have to wait. Yeah, I'll go. Come on, Nick. Come with me. Let's see. Look who's on the camera. Ooh. Look. Who is it? Ooh. Ooh. Who is it? She's so cute. Oh, yeah. You can just move it. Mm -hmm. Why are you making that face? Too mm -hmm. scared. Why are you making that face? Where we at? Say we have the long horn. Yes, that's right, girlfriend. Yes, we have long horn. You want to eat dinner for the birthday girls? For your birthday girls? Mm hmm. For your mommy, for your auntie. Yes, please. We're waiting for her to come back. Great. No, you don't. Rude. That was rude, Tati. That was so rude. Right, you're you're on my side, Tinky. Tinky's doing his s'more sequence. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> yep. So we are at Longhorns, right? Double Having double dinner. Double Rude. What? Rude. Ah, got everybody exposing you, and showing them exactly how you be acting on camera, like you were just doing. Do it on camera. Ah! He's like screaming in lowercase. <laughs> Look at it. Potato. Why are you acting like that? Don't act like that. Hmm? Oh. Okay, we're gonna gotta go. She's mad. She does not want to be recorded right now, she said.